Hey everybody, welcome to part whatever this is of Mega Man 5. Finally ungrounded it after being a douchebag to me in my practice runs. So let's get started and head back into it. It's been almost... Ah, it's been over a week since my last video for this game. But that's what it gets for being in timeout. Oh, oh, don't think you can kiss up to me with free guys. I mean, you give out free guys like they're candy anyway, so why should I give you a bonus? Okay, yeah. Second Proto Man stage. Good times here. Um, as long as you have a... Um, as you may recall, uh, I... Uh, obviously, it's been over a week since my last video, and this stage was being... It wasn't even necessarily this stage, but it was... Uh, the game was being mean to me, and by the game, I mean my controller... And by mean to me, I mean bottomless pit after bottomless pit. Uh, there's basically a room a little further on that, for some odd reason, I just couldn't make this jump. And it's a simple little jump, just like every other jump in this game. And for some odd reason, my controller wouldn't cooperate with me, and I died like eight times at that jump. And so I eventually just got horribly impatient and grounded the game. Hit me now, so I don't gotta worry about it. Yeah, I already passed the jump. It was off of the third moving platform. Don't know what my problem was that day. Maybe it was just too much Mega Man 5 too fast. I don't know. But for some strange reason, I, I just... Um, what was happening is I kept sliding into, instead of jumping, and dying. And literally seven times in a row that happened. <laughs> Eventually I was like, forget this. I'm gonna go play something else until my controller decides to stop hating me. Okay, now this room is um, kind of interesting. you got to take it slow because these guys are invincible while they're charging. Again, don't get hit by their crystal attack because you'll lose about a third of your life, which is absurd. I haven't seen damage levels like that since uh, the first Mega Man game in Elect Man. Also Iceman. His Iceman comes to mind be mostly because of the fact I just fought him in my Wily's Revenge LP. Oh, okay, I didn't switch in time. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, good times, good times. Super damaging enemies in the first game. Aside from that room with the floating treadmills that I already did, this is... Hey, look, more free guys. This is a pretty straightforward stage. There's nothing overly challenging about it. Do I even need it? Yeah, I'm maxed out on guys. Okay. The only thing we're going to be watching for is an enemy coming up, and it's an enemy we've already seen. There's just um, some tricky placements of some enemies coming up. But aside from that, this is a pretty vanilla stage, nothing too fancy or special about it to write home about. Now the interesting thing about these mats is you can damage them from behind. Also, when they raise their gun up, but as long as you're behind them, you can damage them regardless of their position. Okay, and we're back with the tiger. We're going to do a quick thing of gravity hold, but since the tiger jumps as soon as we hit an attack, we're going to hope Star Shield gets us through, which it didn't. Alright, that's good to know. Ugh, energy... Uh, yeah, I love Gravity Hold. If only it worked on those tigers. And Gyro Blade is also awesome. Enemy, or enemies, god. Uh, weapons that go through walls are awesome, of course. They allow all kinds of excellent cheating. And here we are at the boss. Obviously looks a lot like the last one, except this one has two little energy shields. And his only attack is to walk back and forth very aggressively. Basically, in order to hurt him, you gotta hit him while the two energy shields are kind of overlapping. If the energy shields are out, you won't be able to hit him. It's all just a matter of timing, but it's not difficult once you understand when to shoot. Finish him off with a Mega Buster. Oh yeah, look at that. Shooting in the wrong direction. Oh god, leave me alone! Well, that was unexpected. That's why live commentary is fun. 
Yeah, I don't know if I could ever do post-commentary in my LPs. I mean, sure, it's cleaner and it sounds better and you can prepare your material, but what fun is that? Being able to get caught in the moment and being surprised with the viewer is what makes it fun. If I make a stupid mistake, you get to see it. That's the best part. Okay, heading on into the third Proto Man stage. We're going to stop it right here. Hopefully it won't be a week before the next one. I sure hope not. I hope to get this LP wrapped up in the next day or two. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. I will see you in the next video when we tackle on Proto Man Stage 3. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.